a lot of people ask me how I make the backing tracks for these little videos that I post here on YouTube as well as how to get the, the file up on YouTube so I thought I would just give some of this information to the best of my ability and hope that it's useful for you regarding the, um, the, the video itself I just have this little webcam on top of my monitor here it's a Logitech quick cam they call it it's very inexpensive it's um, less than a hundred dollars I paid for it and uh, all you do is you press start recording and you do what you have to do and then you press stop and then there's a little button down there that says YouTube you just put your your, your cursor on it there and click and uh, your video is gone up to YouTube uh, it's as simple as that um, I do not um, rehearse these these things I, I do not do them over and over <laughs> I, I, I come here and I press start and I do what I have to do I press stop and that's it but um, I know that there are a lot of friends of mine who are musicians who who They, 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 they would want to, 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 to play the song over and over and over and over again if it had some little um, glitch in it they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to post it I don't know what they're afraid of the great Miles Davis would go into um, a recording studio and do a recording if he hit a so a note or something like that it was like, it was like so what um, so as far as I'm concerned <laughs> I, I I have to I have to join with my and say it's like it's not a big deal. Anyhow, that's just um, my personal um, way. Okay, now about making the backing track. You know, there's some very expensive equipment out there you can get if you want to go for it. Uh, on the other hand, um, lot, most people uh, like myself, amateur people all around the world, they get a software program like um, one called Sweet MIDI Player. This is uh, available from a place called www.runnymusic.com, and um, you and you you know you download it and install it in your computer, and then you will go up on the internet to a, a, a MIDI search engine. The, the one that I usually use is called MIDI Site M I D I S I T E dot co dot uk. You go there and you see it as a little window where you um, type the name of the song that you want hit enter and then you'll see all of these different files which are different renditions of the song so you just um, click on them and listen to them and when you find one that you like you will click on it using the, your right button on your mouse and you'll see a little sign there come up save target as write the name in cl uh, hit enter and that goes down into your hard drives. So that when the time comes, you will open the Sweet MIDI software, click on File, and then you'll see all of the songs that you saved. And um, then you click on the you click on the song and, and listen to it. And you can now fiddle around with it and change it up in any way you want. Um, what you can do is, is you, you can re reduce the lead instrument so that all the, all, all, the, 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 all the other instruments are playing, you know, just make a backing track. And this is certainly very useful for all musicians who want, um, you know, a backing track to, uh, to practice with. It's a great way to um, improve your playing skills. Or you can change the instruments, you know, you might, you know, one of the instruments might be, let us say, um, a piano and if you want to have a choir instead you can do all of that you can make the tempo faster or slower or you can change the key which means that if you wanted to play the song say in G and it was and the file was in uh, E flat you can change from E flat to G and, and, and then you're in sync so let me look at my time here okay can't go longer than 10 minutes so I'm, I'm trying to push this what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play this backing track 
which is a MIDI file I brought down into Sweet MIDI. And you're going to hear that it has a lead instrument. And then what I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to stop the lead instrument and I'm going to play my harmonica and that will become the lead instrument. And then what I'll do is I'll fool, fool around with uh, some of these other columns here. Uh, so that you, I, I change up the um, you know I change up the the, the way that the, the song is um, is organized, and you'll have an idea what the um, the software can do. Um, I hope that this um, information um, is clear enough, and that you those of you who want to be able to make a make a backing track and that sort of thing will be able to follow it. Okay, so let's go. Now I'm, I'm going to cut out the instrument now. I'll bring back in some of the instruments as we go along. Listen for them. try to to explain um, I thank you for watching my little videos up here and for the complimentary remarks that you make I hope to put some other interesting stuff up as the days come take care <laughs>